Extraordinary footage to show you now of a fiery crash on Highway 63 south of Fort McMurray. An SUV and a tanker truck carrying diesel fuel collided last night. The wreckage bursting into flames and shutting down the highway. And Nicole Weisberg has the story. There's another two compartments to go. The northbound lanes of Highway 63 covered in flames. That was a big boom. Yeah. This video captured minutes after a collision between an SUV and a tanker truck. Are you sure you're okay though? You don't need a ride to the hospital? No, I just... You didn't hit your head or f all when your truck went over? Nope. The voice behind the camera is a Fort McMurray resident named Chris. The other voice is a driver of the burning tanker. What about the guy in the car? Is he okay? I don't know. He's up there, I think. I have no idea. Chris came upon the crash moments after it happened. The truck was uh, kind of sideways and it was there were sparks flying out from underneath of it and then uh, it ignited it actually it was on fire flaming before it even came to a stop when the truck slowed down Chris says he watched the driver jump out and he picked him up I mean, you could tell his nerves were going a million miles a minute but he actually was surprisingly calm they moved farther back and watched the highway impassable. Definitely feel the heat, and every time there was an explosion, you could feel it in your chest. I've witnessed car accidents before, but never seen anything explode like that. Eventually, Chris and the truck driver went to look for the people in the other vehicle. They found them on the other side of the crash. The driver of the Subaru. He came over and he said, are you the driver of the truck? And then they were all really relieved because they, they couldn't see us. We were on the other side of the flames, so they didn't know if he was still in the truck or not. And the driver of the Subaru actually went over and gave him a hug and apologized to him profusely. Chris says the passenger in the SUV broke her arm, but miraculously, no one else was hurt. Nicole Weisberg, CTV News, Edmonton.